Hi ladies, it's Sheena. Um, so today I wanted to talk about, I ordered some more books that are baby related and I wanted to just let you guys know about some more books out there. Okay, so the first one I got is called Making Babies. It is um, a proven three month program for maximum fertility and um, it's, it uses a combination of Eastern and Western medicine and so I really like that because there's more than one way to do things and um, yeah so basically it's supposed to be more for um, people that may, may be experiencing fertility problems and I have not been diagnosed with anything that um, yet or any I don't know yeah, so I haven't been diagnosed with anything that should make us concerned with fertility. However, I do have very irregular cycles. So, I haven't been diagnosed with anything, but I do have a feeling that it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to conceive. So, I got this book, and I have just started reading it. I haven't really gone too far, but, um, so what I like about it is it breaks it down pretty, um, easily like um, basically like some ideas for how to get pregnant naturally like um, different types of foods and just trying to de-stress yourself and certain nutrients that you should be getting like it says like vitamin A's what you should look for in a multivitamin basically it tells you all kinds of natural things that you should be doing and then it tells you the different um, fertility types, and I think this is based on Chinese medicine, this section. Yeah, anyway, so it combines Eastern and Western philosophies for how to maximize your chances of conception, and it basically, it says that you should, it's a proven three-month program to maximize fertility, so we shall see, because I'm probably going to get on that. The next one that I got is what to expect before you're expecting. And, um, obviously, same people that do what to expect, um, when you're expecting. And this kind of, um, it breaks it down for, like, you know, what you should do to get ready for having a baby. Um, you know, things like you need to, like, getting healthy, which most people know that, you know, it's better if you try to get healthy. Um, and um, to discuss the biology of making a baby, how to um, track ovulation, um, and it discusses like issues with um, fertility and when you should look for help and um, also dealing with loss, a loss and stuff like that. Um, but what I really liked about this one, and but throughout the book they have there's like shaded areas, they're like gray areas, and that's supposed to be just for the father to read. And so I like that it's very um, husband inclusive or partner inclusive. Um, see, there's another one, fertile foods for father to be. Um, and so yeah, so my husband, he started picking this up. I like this section. This section says you should date your wife, and it says stuff about surprising her and being romantic and all that stuff. So I think I might like put some stars over there because it is a used book. My husband's going to read it. Maybe I'll like highlight the box that says like buy your wife flowers. <laughs> anyway, so I like this book too. I mean a lot of this stuff I do pretty much already know about but I don't know. I, I think it's really good for um, there's lots of informative stuff that you might not know about. So it's what to expect for expecting, and you know we're not really going to be trying to conceive for another um, three months or so. so. The next one that I got, and I'm really excited about, is called Gentle Birth Choices. It is by Barbara Harper, who is a registered nurse, and I do plan on having a natural water birth, and I'd like to have a home birth as well. But that is my goal, and that's what I'd like to do. Um, so I thought that this book would be good. It's not just about water births. There's, it's all about, um, basically there's chapters about natural pain relief. Um, it, there's a whole section on dispelling the medical myths 
of like hospital births and it's not this isn't a book that is against having your baby in a hospital birth for those of you that want to do that it's not saying that you're a bad mother if you want to have your baby in a hospital there's nothing wrong with that at all um, it just tries it just it explains like what your options are for having a more gentle birth if that's something you're interested in um, um, women taking back basically our birth rights um, Chapter 6 is all about water birth, which is something I'm really excited about. And, I don't know, just basically a more holistic approach to child birthing. And I ordered it off of Amazon. It also comes with a little DVD. So, I don't, I think it was only like a half an hour or so. Maybe it was like 15 minutes. I haven't watched it all, honestly. I was too tired when I got it to watch it. But I just kind of have flipped through here a little bit. And if, if like a more natural birth is something you're interested in or you're curious about um, your options, I would suggest getting this book or at least actually, you know what, I first suggest go to the library. You should always go to the library first because, um, I don't know, it's, you, you don't necessarily need to buy books all the time or if you're worried about your carbon footprint, the li going to the library is the better option. Um, or buy used. I, I try to always buy used books. But anyway, so that was the third one. And then the last one that I got, I'm really excited about this one, and that is the Vegetarian Mother's Cookbook. Now, you don't have to be a vegetarian to get like this book. Um, eating a vegetarian diet is, um, it can be a lot healthier. I mean, there's unhealthy vegetarians, too. We're not all healthy. I mean, like, potato chips are vegetarian. So you don't have... And, yeah, there's a lot of unhealthy things that are vegetarian. So um, what I liked about this book is because um, I'm a vegetarian. Now, I don't normally buy cookbooks because my husband's a chef. But I like that it tells you, like, there's different recipes in here. And they have, like, sections that say, okay, nutrition for pregnancy and lactation. And then it tells you, like, okay, these recipe suggest, and then they have, like, recipe suggestions for when you're, you know, pregnant and lactating. And then preconception, that tells you, like, you know, what your body needs at this time. And so, like, for example, preconception, it says, um, let's see. You, folic acid is very important in the early stages of pregnancy um, and then it says you should eat plenty of fruits and vegetables especially dark leafy green vegetables as well as whole grains and legumes to prevent deficiencies and there's like recipe suggestions that are in this book and then the first trimester see that it shows you here first trimester and basically all the recipes that are here are supposed to be recipes that um, well, um, I guess most women prefer bland, starchy foods. It says to keep crackers, bread, soups, and grains on hand, um, and all this stuff. And it just basically, and vitamin B6, I guess, is important to help reduce um, nausea and vomiting. And potassium-rich foods are good. So yeah, so then it explains, okay, these are all the, these are some suggestions for recipes you might want to eat your first trimester second trimester same thing and then they have for your third trimester and postpartum um, and then also a healthy recipe suggestions for women who are lactating and um, I also like that it shows you recommended um, dietary what does it say intakes for women like how many um, Okay, I cannot read this. Um, like when you're not pregnant, um, how many carbohydrates you should be getting, niacin, all these different um, nutrients and vitamins, how much you should be getting if you're not pregnant, pregnant, and then if you're lactating. And there's a chart that explains it all. So I like that. Um, it also has, it explains everything, like how to get enough protein, fat, and all that fun stuff. And then like Super Mommy Foods is listed in here. Um, so yeah, so I definitely suggest checking this book out, especially if you're vegetarian, but you don't have to be vegetarian to eat vegetarian food. I hope you guys are doing well. Peace.